Yo guys and welcome back to the channel In today's video I want to catch up on a few things Because I did many things on the bus uh, without a camera um, The reason behind that, that is that I, become a bit o I became a bit overwhelmed At the amount of work that needs to be done Because basically everywhere I poked or everything I touched It either fell apart or uh, I found major holes, rust and so on and I did many things off camera and I just want to catch up a bit and show you what was done to the bus uh, First thing, truck mirrors I got the mirrors from VW LT and installed them and I, had, and I have to say that the visibility is improved by 150% Finally I can see what's happening in the back of the bus um, Nothing was done on the front except I cleaned up the radiator a bit because it had uh, a bunch of dirt and flies over it. I just spray washed that sucker and that was it for the front. Uh, on the inside, I disassembled the entire cabin basically. I removed the seats, I removed uh, the back of the seats. Um, the driver's seat is also prepped for removing, I just have to slide it off, but I left it in there so I can move around the bus. Um, I have new seats, I'm going to show them in a minute, but what I have found and what overwhelmed me a bit is that after I removed the carpet or the rubber mat which is under uh, over there, I have found out that the floor is almost completely rusted, as you can see. and basically the entire floor both passenger and driver will have to be replaced uh, let me show you the passenger side which is way worse i meant the driver side just look at that entire chunks of the floor are missing the floor is completely rusted the gas pedal underneath it it's completely rusted and this entire piece will have to go um, I'm not sure that I can do this so most probably the bus at some point will have to visit the body shop so they can weld up all the panels uh, one thing I did is that I sourced new panels both passenger and driver and they're in really good condition they have just a bit of a surface rust which will be easily cleaned off and those suckers should directly swap on uh, over there uh, those are the seats that I got those are T4 seats with armrests and they're like, like couches I mean they're so so comfy and in regards to this one the old shitty seats that were inside of the bus um, what else I have a new steering wheel which is from a VW uh, Passat uh, 1991, first year. Um, I don't like this big round thing. I'll show you the steering wheel in a bit. Uh, those are um, the plates, uh, the the wire plates from the T4 seats, which I'm not going to use. I just have to slightly modify those. Cut this edge along along the entire rail. And they can simply slide onto the uh, original original rails. Mm, one thing that really got me off is that, as I mentioned in my previous video, the bus visited um, a mechanical shop, and uh, they did a really poor job. I have to say that because the bus overheated again. If you can imagine that, <laughs> um, I had an, a fairly new. It's not fairly new, brand new head gasket in it, a fully refurbished head, and the bus overheated. Uh, here, hot summer days, it's 40 degrees outside or 100 degrees for you Americans, and it's yeah, that it sucked. It really sucked, and I had to do this over again, pay a ginormous amount of money again. Because there's no way in hell I'm returning the bus to do the same mechanical shop. Because my thinking is that if they ruin something in the first place, you should not accept. Uh, you should not uh, think that they're able to fix it. If they're not able to do it the first time, most probably they're going to ruin the job the second time as well and just make me spend more money. 
Uh, I'll have to find a place here locally, somewhere nearby, that they can fix it up for me, because I'm, I'm working on my driveway basically, and I have no way of doing it myself, and I don't have the needed experience and knowledge as well. So this needs to be done. Mm, before it, uh, the bus also needs to pass a technical inspection, which there is no way in hell it's going to pass because first I have to fully refurbish the front brakes, which are in very poor condition, and I have to fix up the engine because otherwise that engine is going to overheat on the, in the technical inspection and it's going to fail miserably. Um, one thing I managed to also source, which was uh, a really nice catch, I managed to find rock and roll hinges for the bed, original rock and roll hinges. I'm going to show those in a bit. They're in poor condition. They have uh, surface rust. I have to sand them down, grind them a bit with the wheel, with the wire wheel, and give them a fresh new co coat of paint. Um, What's next for the buses? Uh, let me switch my camera. Is that I have to start working on uh, the inside. And the first thing I'm going to do is cover up those holes in there, which uh, the, the back seat was uh, onto and the, the rear seat belts. I'm not going to reuse those. Uh, there will be a rock and roll bed over there and I'm not planning to taking any passengers in the back. So no seat belts. Um, the other thing that I need to do is I need to start working on this floor. I need to put a fresh coat of paint, uh, remove all the surface rust. There is no major rust on it, no major holes or something. Then I'll start working my way to isolate the entire van. Um, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with uh, the roof, with the roof liner. But I think that at some point I have to remove it and when I do, uh, I'm going to isolate the roof as well. Uh, on the inside, I did a few small repairs because there was surface rust which I didn't want to uh, leave and become some more, uh, some more permanent damage. And what I did is I just grinded it down, put some uh, rust converter on it and left it like this. I mean, I prefer to be this way rather than rusting. I've sanded down this panel over here, but it's too far gone. This whole entire piece will have to be replaced at some point. This will need to be cut down and replaced. As you can see, this is fewer and there are huge chunks of metal missing. So yeah, a bit of spider webs. Uh, it's really solid underneath. I have zero to none work on the, on the underneath of the bus. But there's many, 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 many work on, on the body, on the actual body of the bus. Uh, once I, uh, I was taking it to a friend of mine and I managed to hit his garage door and I just bent, bent the door, as you can see. So this will have to be replaced as well. There's no straightening this one. I mean, it's so rusted and if I try to pull it out, it's I'll simply break the metal. And this is it in terms of uh, the progress so far. And I'll show you some of the work later. This is the steering wheel that I got for the bus. As I said, it's from a VW Passat uh, from 91. Uh, it's in really good condition. Uh, nevertheless, I'm going to uh, give it a fresh coat of paint, black black lip paint for leather, and I'm going to freshen it up a, a bit, and I'm going to slap it on um, on the bus. It's uh, way more in, in diameter, which makes it really comfortable to uh, drive the bus, because I don't like it with this big old steering wheel. And as far as I know, uh, the old one, the, the original one, has some value, so I'm going to make some, uh, some money out of it. Um, get some return in the bank and uh, that's it in terms of the wheel. Other thing that I got is, as I said, the rock and roll hinges. Um, this is the right one and as you can see it's not in that, uh, it's, it's in a good state, it's in a good shape. But this is the left one which, as you can see, has some surface rust. It's uh, Frozen, I can't move it, so I'm using this 
multi-purpose silicone oil i'm just spraying uh in between one or two hours i'm just spraying it up trying to move it a bit and in the end i hope that i'll get it moving after that i'll grind it down with a wire wheel and give it a fresh coat, coat of black paint um i grind it a bit right here and you can see how it turns up i'm going to degrease it and i don't think i'm going to apply a rust converter because it's going to get the mechanism stuck and i don't want that so it's just gonna be fresh coat of paint from a spray can that's it in terms of the new parts for the bus guys and uh, we'll go from there and thank you for watching
Well guys, one seat is installed as you can see. We cut at the base of the seat and it fit perfectly. Everything is working as expected. The seat has a few minor issues which I'm going to repair later down the road, like a cigarette hole right here, a few stains which I'm going to get out. Uh, I'm going to drive the bus to a power cleaning place where they can simply wash everything out. And now I have to repeat the exact same process for the driver's seat. I have prepared over there the seat. You need to remove the rubber, uh, the rubber mats because if they're on, the seat does not fit. So let me do that and I'll be right back. And this is the end result guys, both seats are installed. I had to dismantle pretty much the half of the dash. I need to remove the plastic piece right here. I need to remove the plastic piece under the steering wheel, uh, but everything fits perfectly. They work, the armrests work, everything is fine. And I have to say that they're 20 times more comfortable that, than this old garbage right here. I'm going just to simply throw those away.